All right, now we're going to go into a part of indices where we are going to use it to solve equations. I will urge you, though, if you haven't looked at my other two videos on the laws of indices, you're going to be completely lost here. So it will be a good idea to watch that first. All right, let's, get, let's jump straight into it. Let's start nice and easy. If I have 2 to the power x, and I said that that's equal to 2 to the power 3, what would you say the answer for x is, or the, or the value of x is? Well, if you're looking very carefully, I've still got the same 2, and this power has to be equal to that power for them to be the same. So you would easily say uh, that x is equal to 3. Well, what you've done there are a couple of things. The first thing that you've done that you probably didn't realize was to make sure that you have the same base. So same base on both sides. And once you've got the same base, the next thing you did was, and this is what you did here, was equate um, equate the powers or, or index or indices. So that's basically what you've done, but you didn't realize that that's what you did. Equating the powers or the indices is simply just taking the powers off and putting them equal to each other. That's all that is really. So it's a big flashy word, but that, that's all it means, taking the powers off and putting them equal to each other. All right, in light of that, let's try a different problem. Okay, here we have a different situation, and we've got 2 to the power x plus 5 is equal to 32. Well, if we go back to what we did here, then it'll be easy to solve this problem. The first thing we need to make sure is that we have the same base on both sides. So I'm going to keep the base 2 here, so 2 to the power x plus 5 there, and I'm going to change this 32 to base 2. And I happen to know that 32 is the same as 2 to the power 5. So if you double check it yourself, you're going to see that 32, um, if, you, if you double check it, you should get 2 to the power 5. Now, now that I've got the same um, base on both sides, I can now equate the powers. And remember what I said equating the powers mean. So equate... Um, powers and all I'm going to do is just take the powers off the top so I take the x plus 5 off the top and put it equal to the 5 that's at the top of the 2 so I've just basically taken all these powers off the top there and then I'm going to solve um, solving algebraically bringing that 5 over making it negative x is going to be 5 take away 5 which is 0. So therefore, x is equal to 0. And that is the solution of that. All right, let's take it up a notch and see how difficult it can get. All right, here we have a different situation. Um, and we're going to work it the same way. Let's get the same base first. So base 5 is the lowest I can get here. So I'm going to keep my base 5 on the left-hand side and sort out the base on the right hand side so I know that, oh that doesn't look proper um, so 125 is 5 to the power 3 now it still doesn't look the way I like it so I'm going to go on another law of indices here and say that what I'm going to have is if I reciprocate this, reciprocate that I get 5 to the power minus 3. So reciprocating um, makes the power negative. Now I've got the same base. Very easy now to equate uh, powers. And it's quite easy now to see I'm going to get 2x plus 2 is equal to minus 3. And then I can start the solving process. So x is equal to minus 5 divided by 2. All right, so there we have it. Let's um, 
take it up a little bit more and see what happens. All right, final problem of the day. Um, again, I'm going to go for trying to make sure I have the same base. So um, I'm going to go for 5 again this time. So 25 is 5 square. And 25 already had a power, which was 1 minus um, 2x. So that 2, um, the square power for 5 is going to multiply by that. Um, I've got a 0 on the other side, so look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to just you know, cheat a little bit and put that over there. Uh, turn that into 5 to the 4th power, if that's alright with you. Um, thereby turning that, ne uh, that, that negative into a positive. I've got the same base. I can equate powers now if I wanted to. So, equate powers here, which will now give me 2 into 1 minus 2x. That's the power on that on the left side, equals 4. Power on the right side, I can expand the bracket here, 2 minus 4x is equal to 4. Get rid of that 2, so minus 4x is equal to 4 minus 2. So x will now equal to 2 divided by minus 4, which is now going to be equal to minus a half. Alright, so there we have it. This is how we solve equations um, using indices. Um, so I hope this was very useful to you.